Hello everyone, so in the last episode we created that screen and we started with our main menu. So let's continue with our main menu. First thing that I want to do is I want to design the main menu. We create a just simple little button and uh, we will uh, go ahead and start creating our main menu. So we can uh, put our text and uh, we will anchor it to the top, put like this. Alignment 0 0.5, 0 0.5, position Y 200, 150. This is all uh, depending to you. I'll just show you how to do stuff and you will customize it as you like. So here I want to size it to content. I want to change font, obviously. I will pull it 60. And I want it to be bold and I want it to be, let's say, this color. And we will call it our game but also what I wanted to do is I wanted to import this picture that I made for our game so I can show you how to put picture as well so it we don't have to have it as our game we can actually go ahead delete that and put image drag it here size to content and we want to select this here and select this arrow and we will have it here. So now we can uh, go ahead and uh, anchor it to the top, put it 150 down, and now we can remove size content, size to content, and we can have it like this. It's not uh, some special design, it's just there to show you that you can insert your custom things that you create inside of the Photoshop. This is created in Photoshop. So that's our first game here. And we want to create one more image that's going to be our background image. And we will set anchor to full screen and put this to like this, everything to zero. And we will pull it above, above everything. And I will go ahead and change the brush under appearance brush we can put some custom color I like it like this some bright colors this sh this should work okay so now we will add vertical box. Uh, again, we are just creating a simple, simple uh, 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 main menu. So we are going to anchor it to mid. Line 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Can go down more like this. And I want to add button to vertical box. So make sure you add it to vertical box. And I want to copy and paste again. And this is going to be our play button, right? Play button. This is text. Um, we're going to put it as a play. And here we can put it as a exit button. Exit button. And text can be just exit. Here we'll exit, make text as well. And we can make it fill if we want. Again, it's nothing too special. It's just to show you how to do it. We can add some padding there. And we have simple play and exit here. So I can go on play. I think we set up played as we did. And we also need to set up, where are we? We also need to set up exit. On click the exit, we're just gonna pull quit game. So that's it for the main menu. Now, if you remember, we made the game bloop inside the game blueprint, we made a folder and we have a player controller for our main menu. So we'll go to the event graph. And first thing that I wanna do is I want to set show uh, show mouse cursor, sorry. And I want to show mouse cursor so I don't have to call it from here, from the blueprint. 
So I can just go ahead and create a widget. Main menu. Add to viewport. Set input UI only. I will also get player controller. Actually, I can get self here. And that should be working perfectly. Yep. So I can go and check. If I go, I can actually launch it standalone. Let's see. So if I press F11, I'm full screen. I can play my game. I can exit my game. If I press play, I will load the level. But as you can see, we have no inputs. And that's simply because we need to enable it again. So let's go to the game blueprint, OG player character. And here we will, when we create master UI, set input game only. We will get the controller here, and from here we will set show mouse cursor to false because we had it on. And now, if we test again, press play. As you can see, it works perfectly. Let's test if we take damage. Oh, there is a little bug that can be fixed very easily. So we'll go ahead and fix it. It's just colliding bug. So we will go to the um, maps, our level. And I want to make it a little bit smaller, this trigger box. Like that because it's gonna fall anyways, the player, so now should be working, we can save it, we can press save all, and we have a working main menu. So that's all what I wanted to show, uh, what I wanted you to show. Uh, so in the next episode, we're gonna be packaging our game, because our game is pretty done, except if you want to add pause menu and stuff, but I will create tutorial on that, uh, on my channel uh, separately. Uh, if you want to create a better to, uh, better main menu, you can go ahead and watch my video where I create a, a main menu with animations. I will leave the link in the description, so make sure you watch my main menu tutorial, uh, separate video where I explain everything about it. This one we kind of speed run it, but you have essentials. And uh, I hope you like it. See you in the next episode.